What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another um, live reaction to this Platoon 3 Direct. I'm obviously a huge Platoon fan, so I am super looking forward to this live. So let's get going with what's going on. Am I watching the UK version? Squid Research Lab. Hey, let's see what's going on. This is Splatsville, in the heart of the Splatlands. Despite its old-fashioned hey. appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. <laughs> the pig. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. Oh, hello everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're... The researchers from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat okay. ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. We've been studying their biology day and night. Okay, this is an introduction for people who don't know Platoon at all. Today, we'd like to share some new findings on these inklings. While providing yes, that's summaries fine. throughout. Look at the hairstyles. Of course, what goes for the inklings also applies to the octolings. octolings. We're sure of it. First, turf war. Turf war. One of my favorite mode. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, turf war battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. Four v four for the three team minutes. Team that inks okay, the normal. most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Okay. Now, that's oh, not all. Ink is green emoji. Ink okay, walls the bow and arrow. Up. Or get sneaky and hide in ink to splat opponents. Yep, that's always the me. more ink you spread the bigger the advantage you'll have in battles. Whoops. If you're out of uh -oh. ink, submerge no in it to refill. And this New must be for people who like don't know. like the squid surge to swim up walls in a single burst. And the squid roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around have also been spotted. Oh, nice. That could save me so much. Oh, while it's glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink from opponents. Good. Good. We've discovered stages. All right, yes, let's go. Will take place. Let's go. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include Scorch Gorge, Eel Tail Alley, Eel Tail Alley, Meat Metalworks, and <laughs> Undertow Spillway. There seem to be other stages as well. Yeah, better than just before. Appear filled to the brim with street vendors. The stuff here looks fishy, though. I wonder if it'll go Several underwater and come back up like it used to. Also return. Museum Delfoncino. Battles here take place in the central courtyard of this modern museum. I remember this in front of the one. Rotating wall. Yes, that Hammerhead rotating wall was bridge. a nightmare. This bridge connects Greater Inkopolis to the Splatlands. After lots of construction work, it's finally open. Thanks to the Yay. bridge, transit to and from Greater Inkopolis is much easier. Mahi Mahi Resort. Mahi Mahi Resort. A luxury resort, resort in Greater Inkopolis. This, this, Pay close I mean, I believe this was in... Yes, this is the one that used to submerge. On. Yes! There will be more areas yes, to ink afterward, so don't forget to splat them. Including the stages you see here, a total of 12 Ooh, world. Let's see. Oh More man, they went so fast. In free I'm gonna have to go back updates. and check. Let's see. More raid towers needs to make it. Piranha Pit now, needs to go. Let's get into All right, let's see what the new weapons are. So excited, weapons. so excited. First, it appears that all the basic weapons from previous games will be available. Well, things are better be that, back. 
Flatland specific weapon types, such as the bow like stringers, will make their destructive debut. We've also verified a new weapon type called Splatanas. Ooh, what is this? This is the Splatana Wiper. Send blades of ink flying with the centrifugal ah! force generated by swinging. Mm, I think I might like this one. It, it'll transform into a charged slash. As expected, <laughs> it's powerful as a long range attack. But the yes! Slash at close range is also quite devastating. Ooh, I think I want to try that one. Let's the weapons that can help you claim even more turf. Special weapons. As the name implies, these are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking turf. There are some new types we've identified, so let's take a closer look. Ooh, look at that special. This is the Tactic Cooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages fridge. stored inside. These have a variety of effects, like momentarily increasing speed. Okay. They come in packs of four, so take one and share the rest with your teammates. <laughs> That's cute. This that is, is cute. the Wave Breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll also mark an opponent's location and cause damage. Okay, Try so to avoid them. Oh, well timed damage too. All right, I thought it, I was like, it's not Finally, inking anything, but that slider. that makes sense. Build up power, ah, then charge into a a good splat. I like it. Once the attack, I ends, like that a lot. Explode and damage the surrounding area. Familiar special weapons like the Tenta missiles, Ink Jet, Ink Storm. Okay. Ultra Stamp. And Booyah Bomb will also make their grand return. Okay. Special weapons are paired with main weapons. So find the combo that suits your splatting style. Are, are we being able to change them around? Are we, are we able to change them around? Because that's what I Shop wanted. here to get your tentacles on some fresh weapons. This is Ammo Knights. Owned by the chatty horseshoe crab Sheldon. Okay, they the locals have praised him for his wealth of weapon wisdom and sophisticated selection. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. What? Obtain them by leveling up through battles, and by consistently using the same weapons. Okay. One Sheldon license can be exchanged for one weapon that corresponds to your level. Oh, and just between us, if you exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. Yay! By the way, right, the let's see Inklings what the, and look. Octolings walking around town are pretty savvy about their fashion. Let's see what Things the new like duds are. Clothing and shoes are just as important as weapons to staying fresh and splendid. The hairstyles need too. Gear can be obtained in the shops around here. Each one is managed by an interesting shopkeeper, so let's drop in. Hey, well, they already bought Sheldon back, so... This is not this one's Couture, new. a headgear shop. You'll find an array of hats, masks, and glasses, so you can get ahead of the game. Ahead of the game! The laid-back Nautilus, Gnarly Eddie, and the energetic Nails, the snail sitting here, run the shop. This is the clothes boutique, Mana Wardrobe. It specializes in tops, like t-shirts and jackets. Okay. The shopkeeper, Jell Lafleur, might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. And finally, okay. the shoe store Ooh. crush station. Get a variety of crush cool station. kicks here, from trainers <laughs> to sandals like and it. even leather footwear. It's owned by more Mr. Sandals, Coco. Then. He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy, probably. You're more than welcome to pick Pretty out probably. gear based on its appearance. 
but they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. Gotta pay attention to those. It took me forever to realize that. Take run speed up, for example. It can increase your running speed. Or intensify action. This improves the squid roll and squid surge moves. There are even more abilities to discover. Plus, there's a fellow in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. Okay. Talk to Merch here, and you can add an ability of your choosing to your favorite gear. What is with this, uh... Ugh. I don't like how, um... And if you save the, your favorite uh, gear the, combinations the, the as fresh thing as fits, changed. you can change in a flash. There you go. Now Flavor back. up your fashion with whatever outfits you want. Simply splat-tastic. The lobby. Yeah, let's see the lobbies. Welcome to the lobby. A gathering spot for those seeking fresh Sorry lights. about the background noise, guys. Turf war battles aren't the only things that happen here. You can also square off in anarchy battles. Nice. You compete for rankings. Anarchy battles? The okay, they changed it. In splat zones. To, from league to anarchy. Ride the tower to the goal in tower control. All right, there better be more modes. Carry the Rainmaker to its destination in Rainmaker. Okay, we've done Rainmaker before. Or collect and throw clams Clam. to score in Clam Blitz. It sounds like that's it. Take it out in these four modes. Yeah, they didn't add new rotation. mode. Want to take on a challenge solo? Select Anarchy Battle Series. But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. You can, you can also do play private triples. battles online. Set battle modes and other options to your liking. Why not play with your favorite battle modes alongside friends? Information about these game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. Yeah, I'm definitely in the UK version of uh, Splatoon. That's fine. That is fine. Now, let's talk about the features within the lobby. This is the test range. Try okay, out and get we had comfy a test range with your before. weapons here. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great place to get all warmed up while waiting for rivals to join a battle. Okay. Next up, ghosts. Online Close. friends will appear as 3D holograms. Drop in on friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. Wait, what? You can also join up and start a battle on the same team. You'll be able to see what your friends are up to. It appears that you can also call out to friends in the lobby and invite them for battles. Why not see these features for yourself? Oh, good! This is where you can view battle replays. This is what Dank was it talking about. It appears that it can somewhat recreate recent battles. Maybe. Fast forward. See where or you went wrong, right? Or skip to a certain part. Or even swap to another player's view. Incredible! I guess, like, if you're doing battles as many times as you like, teams but to even a share feature. We hope you'll use this handy tool to help you rank up. Yeah, for like uh, teams would be really nice to see Next, what your teammate was doing. We'll analyze and discuss we have this space teams. within the lobby, the locker room. Okay. Here, you'll find some fresh lockers. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently played. As you can see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons, gear, and items to your liking. Oh, that's Slap cute. It's a little customizable. And modify your locker's color. This is your space to express yourself. So customize it however you'd like to show off your nice. signature splatting style. Nice. It's a little, it's cute. Oh, little yes. touch. Just items little touch. can be obtained at Hotlantis, a general store on the edge of Splatsville. Apparently, the store manager vanishes quite Some often. Stickers. So instead, it's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. It's got an outlandish assortment of items. 
Why not show the store some love by grabbing some goods? Yeah, these look like the stickers you stick on their locker. There appear to be plenty of other customization features as well. Yes, let's see. When battles start, these splash tags appear. They can be customized with a banner, badge, and title. Okay. Additionally, nice. you can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. Yay! All of these can be obtained via the in-game catalog, which will be available at Hotlantis. By using points earned from battles, you can unlock various items, like stuff for splash tags and seasonal gear. <laughs> Following okay. the game's launch, a new catalog is planned to be released. Wow, every a new three catalog every year. You better get that money real be quick. Be sure to snatch up everything you see in each catalog. Old catalogs don't expire. We need to know about that. Phew. There's still a lot of info to share, but I need to take a little breather here. In the meantime, please turn your attention toward this. All right, let's see what's going on. What's going on? I'm so excited. Introducing Table Turf Battle. Oh Lay no. Out your cars for a dazzling deck duel. What? What is this? Make different shapes with different cards. Charge up power, then unleash it all at once with a special attack. What is this? There are cards like this, and even ones like this, and there are over 150 cards to collect in game. Okay, so in game, that's fine. I thought it was like a real card game. Packing. The Splatsville locals eagerly await your challenge. I bet you anything they make this into a real card game. Every player will be gifted an in-game starter deck. They're like here, so you have other Excuse stuff to me. do in the game. This is nice, at least. For a second there. That was Table Turf Battle, a 1v1 competitive card battle spin-off of V1? Turf War. It appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo in Splatsville. Be on the lookout okay. for more details about Table Turf Battle. Yeah, you can 1v1 in the things. That's not bad. And now this. Okay, we're back to Grizzles and Salmon Run. What is the next wave? Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmonids and they have more competitive this mode besides just Salmon Run. A little fishy, but it pays pretty well. By defeating particularly ferocious creatures called boss salmonids, you can obtain valuable golden eggs. You'll need to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. This Sometimes these things can be super hard. It's very hard for me to do these ones. So let's share our findings. First up, the Slammin' Lid. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. Get too close to it and it'll attempt to crush you. So approach with caution. I'm sure you can kill that. Next, the big shot. Yo, my dude is launching crap. Projectiles from a distance. Be prepared for powerful shock waves when they land. Oh no, it's one of those With shock wave things. It's confirmed. Make sure you're ready for an even more dangerous. There you go. That's attack. how you kill it. That one right there is my pain in the ass right now. Yo, this looks like it's salmon. They made salmon run a bit harder. All right. This is one of the new king salmon. It's unbelievable. It looks like they hey, must have shock waves. just before you complete the job. The tank on your back is a specially provided egg cannon. And it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. You're using your golden However, eggs to kill these him? Battles are under a time limit. So rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. Wow. I wonder if in this one you still have to use the golden eggs to when he appears to put them in the this, this nest. This is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. It appears that this event happens once every few months. So brace yourself. What? 
Yay! They made a salmon run event. Oh, I better get good at salmon run. No. All right, let's see what the story mode now, is. Observe this manhole in Splatsville Square. Always a manhole. This is actually the entrance to the home of the Octarians, the Inklings' longtime enemies. As Agent 3, the newest recruit of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, you'll do battle with the Octarian army, whose members are covered in hair for some reason. Along with your buddy Small Fry, you'll explore many stages, each one full of Small twists fry? and turns. Oh, I almost forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. Some newer players might want to try it out. Well, we've come this far. What awaits the Inklings and Octolings in the end? We hope you can witness the epic finale of this splatastic saga. Woof! Yay! We're back I gotta play the story bit. mode. From I... here on out, we'd like to talk about other features that'll help you enjoy your splatting escapades even more in Splatoon 3. This is the mailbox on the right. You here via this mailbox. Yeah. Sorry. They'll be displayed all across the city and even in stages. So put on I your artist cap and post away. I wish Vertical I knew how to draw. Vertical illustrations will also be supported. Oh, good. Additionally, you can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. I I never even or used the use ones local at the communication crab. to play with nearby folks in your favorite modes at the shoal. By using photo mode, you can snap selfies send photos to a smart device or display them in your locker okay that's nice this is the recon guide select your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll around them okay, why not get had familiar with like each stage before. prior to battles i was trying to look at what stages there were I was this trying. is splatnet 3 you can use this with your smart device. It contains features like see. checking your latest battle stats. Okay. And ordering special in-game gear not sold in shops from the Splatnet gear right. shop. I keep forgetting to but do that. But that's not all. Access features like Krusty Sean's Wonder Crust. Support this fellow's journey using ink points earned depending on the areas you inked during battles. Or view history to take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. Okay. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart device. So be sure to grab them. It appears that I swear Splatnet they keep pushing that will be online. available at launch via the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. I I rarely use that mobile app to be honest. I used it more Next when up, I was Amiibo playing with the figures. team. Scan Splatoon right, let's series see Amiibo at Amiibos. this spot in Splatsville. And voila! Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. Additionally, it seems you'll be able to get special gear and even snap photos together with Amiibo. And yeah. Splatoon 3 Amiibo incoming! Yay! Release oh, look at that! This winter. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. The amiibo are coming. Now, let's and talk everyone about this launch for Splatoon. As we mentioned a while ago, following the game's launch, a new in-game catalog will be released every three months for two years. Okay. My thing is, new does it go away? will also be added around the same time as each catalog. In addition, I feel like that's them saying that the game is incomplete. Available after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy Battle and League Battle, me. where every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy Battle results, are planned to be added in future updates. Further, oh, so they took out League? This game, we're planning to add large-scale paid DLC. Why? More details will come at a later time. I don't so know about this paid DLC crap. And now, I'd like to wrap up this research report. Especially from since the it looks similar-ish to what we Thank already had. Much. Why are we paying for DLC? Just put it in the damn game. I, I hate when they do paid DLC after the fact. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? 
Are these the new idols? These are the new idols. I can't see because the screen is a little blurry. I hate that the, oh, that the, the screen auto. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly popular trio who host the Splatsville news program. Yeah, this is your new idols. They provide information on battle Silver stages, and Frey. as well as other news bulletins. Uh, I wish we can skip those news bulletins, not gonna lie. That's something While that can be a subject, skippable feature. The youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. They can check the news while doing other activities, as shown here. Okay. And... This first Splatfest. Let's go, Splatfest. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, I like the music. How is that rayfish? So it looks like the two idols are female again. At least that, that's what it looks like to me. So two, four female idols. But what? Okay, that's a, definitely a, a look like an Octarian. What is this one? I can't. That one I can't tell. The, the one in yellow. What are you? I wonder, this better not be copyright music is all I'm saying. It's probably gonna be in the game, so it shouldn't be. Here are the Splatfest, how the Splatfest will be looking. It's been confirmed that Splatfest will make a return. In these yes. events, you pick a team based on the announced theme, then settle the outcome via battle. That's right. And love this me against Splatfest. There will be three teams to choose from. Three? Splatfests consist of two halves. In the first half, teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. Okay. The second half is a tricolor turf war. Tricolor turf war? It's a special war? mode where. Whoa! Three teams fight at the same time. Okay. All players on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. Can the leading team defend themselves? Or will the other two teams exact revenge? Okay, I like that they changed their Splatfest. I'm not the mad at it. Signal to control the battle and contribute to the Splatfest while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. I'm not mad at this. Okay, we're going to close it's out the 4v4 with two teams from opposite sides. That's fine. That I think this is like your hundred times battle. I see it. I, I get. I, I see it. I see it. I see it. I get it. It's not bad. Shiver. I think that's what it says. I, the screen is a little blur. I want to like pause and like fix it, but I'm afraid of messing up where I'm at. Splatfest, August 27th. Woo Wait, how is the Splatfest August 27th? 
We don't even get the game until the 9th. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissor. Ooh, which team will I be? Hmm. Like a rock. Maybe? I don't know. Look at all the trash talking already. I, I like how they, the, 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 they sound even though they're not speaking a language we understand. And I like that there's a third team now. Like, I'm gonna shower you with some confetti. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewatch that with better audio quality because I can't tell what it was saying too much. I don't know what's going on with the audio quality. I mean, the video quality. But I'm excited about the new Splatfest. I forgot all about Splatfest for some reason. Alright, is that it? That looks like it. All right, let's go. Let's go back. First of all, let me fix this audio. My video. All right, let's go back. Updates to what they were saying. Okay, we're just gonna mute the uh, the audio for the game audio for right now. Now I can see what they're saying. Oh my god, that's so much clearer. Something was going on with the, the, the video. Okay, I just want to see when the first Slapfest was. When, did, when was the announcement for it? Cause I think that's what I, I I couldn't read. It was so the the quality was so bad. I really should have stopped and read and fixed that ahead of time. All right, let's see. Breaking news, news two. Okay, let's see when the first black fest was. I know. 9 to 9 UK time. So I got to I got to find out which one it is in the US time. Uh because I for some reason I found a UK uh, uh Nintendo Direct. I don't know how cuz I'm not logged into Nintendo Direct for um UK but so we got to go find the other version. Yeah. So I'm excited about the different uh, modes that they're bringing in to Splatfest. I like a lot of the stuff they are doing. I don't know. What are you guys thinking about um, the the Splatfest that's coming? The new things, the features that have been added. Is it enough? I feel like it's not enough. I don't want to do that big old paid DLC if you're not adding enough. So um, let me know what you guys in the comments think. I'm super excited. I hope you are super excited at least. Thank you guys for watching and happy gaming, guys. Bye.